This is Alistair Matheson reporting from the Somali Republic. And here we are in Mogadishu on the shores of the Indian Ocean. Mogadishu is the capital of this independent African state, which has just taken a decision to break off uh, diplomatic relations with Britain over the very contentious problem of the NFD area in Kenya, which the Somali Republic claims should be handed over to Somalia, as it is populated almost entirely by people of Somali origin. And here we have uh, the one of the members of parliament in the uh, National Assembly, Mr. Michael Mariano, who is uh, in business here as a solicitor. This is Alistair Matheson reporting from Mogadishu in the Somali Republic of Northeast Africa, which is in the news at the moment because of the rupture in diplomatic relations with Great Britain. Uh, we have here the Under Secretary of State for Foreign Affairs in the Somali government, Mr. Mohammed Ali Dar, who is well versed in uh, the problems which this young independent country is facing. And I'm going to ask him something about the problems uh, which have brought the uh, dispute with Britain into the headlines. This is Alistair Matheson in Mogadishu, capital of the Somali Republic. Uh, I ha have here with me Mr. Michael Mariano, who is a solicitor in Mogadishu. Formerly, Mr. Mariano is from the northern part of the Republic, which is formerly British Somaliland. And he regards Hagesha, the former capital, as his home, but he's now settled in Mogadishu. Mr. Mariano, I was wondering if you can tell us if you support uh, fully the uh, government's uh, action in uh, breaking off diplomatic relations with Britain. As a member of parliament, I support the government in this action of theirs. I realize that it's an unfriendly act, but we feel as Somalis that the British government has been guilty of more serious unfriendly acts in giving away our territories and denying us the right to self-determination. I see. Now, um, I believe you've been a fairly um, consistent advocate of uh, the Greater Somalia Plan for many years now. In fact, uh, how long is it that you have been uh, advocating this? From way back in 1946, after the present, and on several occasions, I took a very active part in major uh, actions, such as the Four Power Commission, which came here at the end of 1947. There is one last question I'd like to ask you, Mr. Mariano, and that is uh, on a broader question of pan-African relations. There's a feeling among some other African states that Somalia has tended to rather isolate herself from the uh, rest of Africa, particularly the pan-African movement that is very strong today. And I think in Moshi there was a rather unfortunate incident which tended to give some grounds to this. Uh, I don't know if you know about it, but could you comment on it or give us some further views on that? Yes. Certainly. And I would say it's the other way around. We in Somalia have tried to embrace the whole of Africa. There are two groups in, uh, in the uh, Pan-African movement, and we go to both the groups in their conferences. That may be the reason why neither gives us and their full support. And maybe one of the things we have to think over again and, and learn from our experience. In the case of Moshi, and uh, I feel there it's a question of and um, everyone having in their minds the NFD question. So the Kenya leaders, already having been committed to one attitude of mind, felt that it was necessary that they should walk out, okay, since the question was raised. And our delegate there and, uh, felt that that was an opportunity at which he could explain the point of view of the Somali people, and he took the opportunity. I feel that there is a lot of propaganda due to misunderstandings and uh, wrong emphasis and perhaps wrong information. And we've got to go a long way before we can, each of us in the East African group, really understand each other's problems and from understanding only can come tolerance. Thank you very much.